will be newer imaging technique in breath. Okay? Is it clear? Everything? So, uh, one thing that we have to do is, when you look at anatomy of the breast, it is basically at the terminal ductal unit and the cellular level and the molecular level. So, each of the, the breast changes for, if you want to detect changes, they are basically at the various levels at which of anatomy, you have to localize it as far as anatomy goes, okay. So, one thing that we basically like to look at is at the TDLU level. That is the way ultrasound and mammography try to look at it. And then we go on to the cellular and the molecular level is when there the pathogenesis is occurring. Okay. So, if you are looking at the pathogenesis there it is occurring, it is occurring basically at the molecular level which is manifest in the cellular level and then you are seeing the changes in the TDLU level. And when you have, uh, when you need to diagnose stuff, then it is basically the morphological anatomy and the functional anatomy which you have to look at. So basically what you are looking at in a mammogram, in, in breast imaging is, you have the X-ray mammogram, which is the routine one which we have seen, and the ultrasound which we discussed last time. And then you have the MRI which is more functional oriented. In X-ray and ultrasound, both are basically morphological assessments, right? And, and then you have the MRI which is actually gives you a little bit of the functional assessment. Now, CT and nuclear medicine, we use primarily for staging only. Same functional things which you want to see, we have to do either a pen scan positron emission mammography or a MIBI scan. And then we also now have the CT contrast mammography, the thermography. But ultimately the gold standard still remains pathology where you have the image guided biopsy and also the treatment. So that is very important. Can you all hear me? Is that okay? Okay, so so this is the basic thing that we look at. And if you again I have shown you earlier itself what is the various anatomy of the breast in the ultrasound diagram. So, whatever we see in ultrasound, it is basically at the TDLU level and at the ductal levels that we are seeing. And when you are looking at in a mammogram, this is in an ultrasound, these ultrasound or mammograms, it is at this level that you are seeing it. So, the, uh, the problem with conventional mammography is there are, it is a dense breast, there is lack of contrast, la then tissue inhomogeneity is there and there is higher exposure is required. And additional views are always needed to resolve architectural distortion and asymmetric density. Besides, two-thirds of premenopausal women and one-fourth of postmenopausal women have dense breast tissue which increases four to six-fold the risk of developing cancer. It is with a view to this that they wanted some kind of development or some kind of Newer things that you see. Basically, it's the tomosynthesis. The problem in X-ray mammography is there is overlap of tissue. So, if you wanted to remove the additional overlying tissue, then you have to do a cone view or a spot view. And ultrasound, again, what happens is you have a, it's a very subjective test. Whereas a mammography, you can just show the films and get around with it. Ultrasound is very, very subjective. Like today, for instance, I saw a very subtle lesion. I've done ultrasound so long and I had to localize it. And I couldn't get.